All right, guys, good old boy 32 here. Check it out. We're sitting in the Freedom Studios, man. We're trying a new lighting setup. Uh, got some really cool stuff going on. And I'm still thinking, because there is a bare ceiling in here with zero acoustical absorption, uh, we might have to hang something up above us and figure out what we're going to do there. But in any case, uh, thank you very much for the awesome comments. And I've got some white areas in the back here that i got to cover up. But what are we doing here today? Guys, I got this really cool thing in the mail from the guys over there at Gray Man Tactical. Uh, not exactly sure what I'm looking at, but it's pretty neat. I've got some mag pouches from the guys over there at G-Code. we got a bunch of Blackhawk uh, stuff. This looks like a detachable uh, Velcro first aid kit. There's a storage container right here. But look at this thing. This is what it is. You've got this really cool little deal right here. And this goes on the back of your car seat. Now, I am going to try to figure out what the best application for me would be in order to use this effectively in a sedan. I'm not a big fan of leaving stuff out in the open, which is why I try to trunk everything, but I've got a neat idea there as well. So let's talk about this real quickly. We've got uh, the system itself. Okay, this is the Gray Man Tactical 15 by 15.25 by 25 heavy duty RMP, which means rigid molly panel with buckle D-rings RMP straps and headrest posts. So the straps are right here. I think there might be one on the floor right there. And again, like I said, what I wanna do is go over the individual pieces in this video, and then we'll go out and we will actually put it in the vehicle and set it up with the Wildebeest. It's pretty neat, we've got pictures right here of how things should be set up. And uh, yeah, it should be interesting to see how it does, especially with kids in the back seat. <laughs> Now, uh, for the most part, I think these are set up for uh, SUVs and that kind of thing. So anyway, this kit includes the RMP cover. Who? Now, that's important. I think this is what this is right here because stealth is everything, especially out in uh, the wild. So we've got a cover with some tape that's sitting on this thing. Now, I've had this thing in a box for a long time. That looks pretty neat. So, yeah, you can go ahead and put this over top of all the stuff. I like that Molly, uh, the uh, closed loop right here. Uh, this is the loop portion of a hook and loop system. So I'm glad to see that they have that. Okay, so we have the vehicle rifle rack rubber clamps. That's this right here, rifle rack rubber clamps. That's pretty neat. I wonder how these work. Very nicely put together. I'm going to put the website down below. Uh, all right, so we put that on there. You got your rifle, and you can clamp it in there just like that. That's really neat. That's some heavy-duty rubber stuff right there, upper and lower portion, okay? And I'm guessing what it does is it will bolt onto this guy right here, utilizing the hardware that they send right here. Okay, so we got our work cut out for us. I'm interested in this thing. Then we have the uh, Gray Man Tactical Morale Patch. Morale Patch. In addition to that, we have the Black Hawk Strike Large Utility Pouch. This guy right here, I'm a big fan of Black Hawk stuff. Let's see here, open this up. And that will mount onto the system as well. So we'll go ahead and have our rifle mounted here. Up here. And then a couple mag pouches. I think what I might do, position that down here. Uh, there's a, uh, like I said, this is the first aid kit, and I guess you got the uh, moisture beads in there that have exploded. I know it's a boring video, guys, but I tell you what, uh, again, one of the things I am doing is I'm, I'm utilizing this time to set up and try to figure out if our sound is correct, if our lighting is good. Uh, and I'm going to get these beads everywhere. First aid kit is a must, and then we can go ahead and mount two mag pouches, one, two, because I'm going to want those upstairs just like that. All right, so that's it. Uh, they're not telling me how much this thing costs. I know that they're not cheap, but you're not. You're going to get good quality stuff, and they're made in Lafayette, Louisiana. How about that? So yeah, that's it. All right, the next part of our video will be the illustration on how it fits and sits in a vehicle. All right, there's Mr. Justin Outdoors.
talking about barrels. All right, with that being said, guys, uh, I'll put the link down below. Uh, you guys go take a look at it. And again, we will put this thing in the vehicle and see how it looks, man. I'm really looking at, and I'm very excited about this. Um, simply because I've kind of held on to it for a long time. I haven't implemented it into a test or anything else, but it looks like it's gonna be a pretty cool little deal. All right, with that being said, guys, uh, we always end them like this. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless us men, women, in uniform 24 seven for our freedom, because freedom's not free. We are gonna replace this tabletop with something a little bit uh, more simpler. Uh, but I needed something to absorb the sound off of this table because it was really bouncing onto the ceiling and then uh, back down here. But that's my sexy voice. I got to get these beads out of here before they cause a problem. All right, that's it. God bless America. God bless his men, women in uniform 24 7 for our freedom. Because freedom is not free. I'm talking about the men and women in uniform who we're going to be counting on when the time comes to uh, enforce our constitutional rights against the government that feels like we're here to serve them. And it's all in the guise of the safety. It's all in your, it's all in a, in a, and to save you and uh, keep you safe. Right. Go to Boy 32 I'm out of here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Y'all be good.